Okay, today our class is about the comparison of two compartments, two orders, zero order and first order. Before this, we will move our previous concept of the both equations for zero order and first order. First, we will learn how to calculate half life of both orders. In case of zero order, what would be the formula of half life? And in case of zero order, what would be the formula of half life? We will first drive it, then make some practice in the form of some numericals. Zero order equation is y is equal to mx plus b. In our previous class, we have already modified this equation in the form of C is C KT plus C naught. I have written in my previous class that was C E, law of concentration. Then K is slope, K is the time which is on x axis, C naught is the initial law of concentration, or B. The same scenario, this is for this way, like, like this graph. But when we construct this type of graph, now the value of this k is minus. Now actually equation is minus kt plus c naught. This is the equation for the zero order. We have already cleared in our previous class. Okay, in case of first order, the equation is ln y is equal to mx plus ln b. Why we use the word ln? Because we are constructing a straight line graph on the semi-log and semi-log data having the y-axis on uh, logarithmic data and x-axis are the linear data. So when we convert just like this, we will write ln c is equal to kt plus ln c naught. This equation is for semi log graph and delta is concentration and time increasing concentration with respect to the time. Okay, when we make this just like this one, in case of IV injections, time and this concentration will give us the equation ln c minus kt plus ln c naught. Okay, these two equations are the basic concept which will give us the idea of the half life. First of all, we will define the half life. Half life is a time at which half of the drug eliminated from the world. It will be, it will be called elimination half life. Okay, the time at which half of the drug distributed from the body, distribution half life. The time at which half of the drug absorbed from the GI tract toward the systemic circulation, absorption half life. It means there are many types of the half life because it's a time and time for the absorption, distribution, maybe excretion, elimination. These are all the aspects of the pharmacokinetic profile. And when we use the word absorption, then it, the class would be absorption half life. And when, when we use the word distribution, then it would be distribution half life. And in case of elimination, it's an elimination half life. Now, in this case, we are discussing only elimination because we have the data of the time versus concentration of IV injection. In case of inverse relation, we will calculate the part, the values of half life means elimination half life. By taking the elimination half life concept. Now we will say this k is elimination rate constant. Just like, just like half life, we have the same words for the rate constant. Elimination rate constant, absorption rate constant, distribution rate constant. When we discuss about the elimination and its rate, then we will say it's an elimination rate constant. And in case of distribution curve, the rate constant would be called distribution rate constant. In our future classes, we will write the word ke, kd, KM, 
मेटाबॉलिक रेट कॉन्स्टेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड के इज ऑफ द इलिमिनेशन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सी इज द कंसेंट्रेशन विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द वाई एक्सिस एंड सी नॉट इज द वाई इंटरसेप्ट इज द इनिशियल कंसेंट्रेशन वेन वी एक्सट्रेट दिस दिस वन दिस इज द सी वन सी नॉट बिकॉज दिस कंसेंट्रेशन इज एट जीरो टाइम टू आर फोर आर सिक्स आर एंड एट आर सेम दिस कंसेंट्रेशन Concentration zero time. Then the concentration at one time is going to decrease. Then three, then four, it would be lower. Then decreasing with the passage of time. Okay. The concept is half of the drug concentration, half of the drug eliminated. Half of the drug means when this C becomes half of the C naught. According to Hoffman definition, when this C, this, this concentration becomes. Uh, this C naught becomes 0.5 C. We we will say this is the half life. Means when this C is equal to 0.5 C naught, this time is called half life according to our definition. The time at which half of the drug means we have a 100 milligram per ml concentration in our body at a unit time. After 30 minutes. the value becomes 50 mg per ml it means exact half of the drug concentration is present now and this 30 minutes should be called half life same case now the full concentration is c not and half concentration is 0.5 c not it's a half of the c not we will write, we can also write c not over 2 because half life is the half concentration of the initial concentration at the time at which half concentration eliminate same case we will write here c we will replace the c with the 0.5 c not minus kt plus c not remember we are discussing iv injection like so we will write the word minus here if we discuss the oral or the increasing concentration just like in our linearity curve then we will not use the word minus because we will write on the k Low will be in the positive form. Okay, we will combine these both. Then the answer is 0.5 C naught minus C naught is equal to minus K T. Okay, when we multiply the whole equation with the minus sign, the equation would be in the range of C naught minus 0.5 C naught is equal to K T because now the minus sign is Converted into the plus sign because we have multiplied the whole equation with the minus. Okay, when we take the minus of this, it's actually one. The value is here one. One minus point five, point five c naught. Okay, point five c naught is equal to k t. And now we will have to write the word t is a t half because we are discussing that time when the concentration. Initial concentration becomes equal to the half. So we will write C is equal to 0.5 C naught, and T is equal to T half. When we take this T half, okay, now it's the formula for zero order half life 0.5 C naught over K naught. If we can write the word K naught for our confirmation, okay, it's a zero order, maybe. It's not not it's not compulsory to write the naught, but k. Now the answer is 0.5 c naught over k naught is the formula for half life of the drug when we want to calculate on zero order reaction. In case of zero order reactions, when we want we want to calculate half life of the drug, then the formula would be t half is equal to 0.5 c naught over k naught. Okay, maybe. All of you know about the the same symbol. I have already used the word X for the dose and C for the concentration. In in your books, you may you may see the same formula T half is equal to 0.5 X naught over K naught. Same words, but the concept of dose here same in the different books. You can also see T half is equal to 0.5 D naught over K naught. Same concept. If we want to calculate the half life of a drug which obeys zero order reaction, then we would need only two set two things. One is 
concentration, initial concentration, R, R initial dose, and other is rate constant. Rate constant and initial dose or initial concentration will give us the concept of half life in case of zero orders. This formula, this one, and this one, all three are the same. The concept is only the change of the word is basically the concept of the dose, the concept of the concentration. So 0.5 x naught over k naught is the formula for zero order half life. Okay, can you calculate the half life of any drug? Okay. No concentration, and in case of concentration, the, then our k units would also be changed because when we take the k, k is actually slow, and when we discuss the concentration and time, then the k unit would be different, and same k units and this this unit would cancel each other, and the overall result would be in the hour, in minutes, in seconds. Because this uh, in my previous class, I have already told you the, the word m. M would be changed when we change the data on x-axis by taking the ppm, taking the uh, ppb in milligram per meter, those concentrations will give us another uh, different values of the M. Same case, the different values of K would be observed because when we use the concentration, because it's a delta C over delta T, and delta C concentration is milligram per liter per hour, and same case when we use the dose, it's a milligram per minute. So, so we will say there is a change in the y-axis, concentration or the dose, then we will write 0.5 C0 over K0 is the actual formula for half-life of the drug which obeys zero order cost. First of all, we will learn the first, the first order, then we will make some, some, some type of the exercise. Like. Okay, you come toward this. Concept is same. The words are same. We have used the words, the time at which half of the drug concentration eliminated would be called elimination half life. So what we are doing, we are converting this C into 0.5 C0. It's a 0.5 C0. Why 0.5 C0? Because now its time will be become T half. For example, T0, T0 concentration would be equal to C0. T1 concentration would be C1. Concentration T2 concentration would be C3, C4, same as we are increasing the concentration time, we are getting more concentration, more different concentration. Actually, it's a decreasing concentration. For example, zero time, its concentration is zero, uh, C0. At time one, concentration is C1. At time two, concentration is C2. So, at, at time 50, at time when the 50 percent if we write the concentration in milligram percent then we will say okay the time at which 50 percent of the drug is eliminated and that time is called half life of the drug okay now we will write this c is 0.5 c naught and this t t half okay write this ln c 0.5 c naught is equal to minus kt plus ln c naught Okay, anyone can solve the further equation? What would be the next? We will come, we will make the uniform say, uniform areas, uniform symbols in a single side. The process would be ln 0.5 C naught minus ln Okay, ln 0.5 C naught minus ln C naught is equal to minus kt. Okay, how many people know? Okay, they, if there are the two same things and having the values of natural log ln, then we will make the division of these two. It would be ln just like this ln A minus ln B is equal to ln A over B. Say log A minus log B is equal to log a over b. Same case, we will think the same way. The now its ln should be come once, ln 0.5 c naught over c naught. The equation would be now ln 0.5 c naught over c naught is equal to minus kt. Now this c naught will be cancelled. cancelled. And 
we have now ln 0.5 is equal to minus kt okay in my previous class i have told you in in the response of log we have the anti log and in response of natural log we have the exponential the symbol of e when we take the exponential of the whole equation the the equation would be the, please take the natural log of, of 0.5 well, thank you. Negative 0.693 minus 0.693 is equal to minus kt. Now both sides have the minus. Yes. We have to cancel it. Yes. Now we will cancel it and then the answer is the t should be t half. And t half is 0.693 over k. It may be k1, it may be ke. K1 for the first order we can write. And k0, here I wrote the word k0, k0 for the zero order. Now the concept is how to calculate the half life of a drug when we have we are assuming that the data is zero order. The formula would be 0.5 C naught over K naught. But in case of first order, when we want to calculate the half life, the formula would be changed. The formula would be 0.693 over K. Why is K? Because K is the actual elimination rate constant. Now it's an elimination half life. If we write the K M. Then you say metabolic half life. If we have the KD, it's a distribution half life. Same case, the changing the word of this K will give us the change of the name of this half life. So, half life have got many classes. One class is elimination half life, distribution half life, metabolic half life, but whole depends on the rate constant. If the, we are using the rate constant of the metabolic half, half life, metabolic rate constant, then the half life would be metabolic half life. Hope uh, zero order and first order. Having the basic concept of the half life, we will make some examples first to understand this concept, then we will move toward our next class. Okay, uh, if